Hey, what's up guys? HaikuSynX here, and I got a nice little update video for you guys on the latest update coming to ARM. First and foremost, I do want to get out there that this is a free DLC update. I can't put enough emphasis on it because you get those people where they just, the moment they hear the term updates or DLC, they start freaking the heck out. So this is a free DLC update that's coming to ARMS on July 12th. So let's start with the part that I feel is the most exciting part about tomorrow's free DLC update and that's going to be the release of Max Brass. So for those of you who don't know, Max Brass is the person you fight when you make it to the very end of the Grand Prix mode and everything's going in your favor, you get to the championship match, here's this badass with his brass mohawk. Several days ago, a gameplay reveal trailer came out for Max Brass, kind of highlighting the way that he plays, and for the most part, to me, he seems pretty good. So, pretty much from what I've been able to gather, it looks like Max Brass won't flinch when his arms are fully charged. Also, similar to Springman, once Max Brass's health reaches a certain low percentage, I think it's like 25% or 20%, his arms will stay perma-charged which is definitely a feature that I like. That's one of the reasons why I stick with Springman so much. So I'm, I'm pretty fond of that, I, I like that. Next up, what looks like maybe coming with Max Brass, it's gonna be the champion stage that you actually fight him on. So I've been asking for the stage for quite some time since the game's release, and now that it looks like it's gonna be an actual playable stage that you can play online or offline opposed to fighting him in the Grand Prix, that's pretty dope. Alright, so next up on the list is the new playable mode called Headlock Mode. So up to three different players can battle over the Headlock Mask in the match. Winner gets the mask, your fighter transforms into Headlock, and then from there the players are going to have to team up to take down whoever got the mask. Pretty straightforward. I mean, this is kind of expected. I mean, it was already an online mode where you would fight an NPC that would turn into headlock. So, for me, I mean, this is kind of meh. I don't really care. I mean, I'll play it probably a few times, but it's nothing too special for me. Alright, guys. So, last but not least, uh, there is going to be a few balance and tweaks. There's no details on what these are going to be yet. The game's producer, Mr. Yabuki, did state that players using the same techniques over and over again want it to be something that the developers would fix so he's already have announced that you know hey you guys who are kind of cheating or being cheesy we need to do something to fix that up so that seems like what they're going to tackle not really sure what that's going to be we'll have to wait for the dlc to drop to find out but that's a good thing in my opinion so yeah guys that's pretty much it for july's 12th free arms dlc update personally i really do enjoy when we get dlc in the form of free characters or stages that's really something that I vibe with really well. I enjoy it. But what do you guys think? Which part of the DLC are you most excited for? Let me know in the comment section down below. All in all, I feel it's a pretty good update. Hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the ring. So what did you guys think about today's video? This is a little bit of a different approach than what I do normally. If you guys want more videos like this, just let me know. I'm definitely down to continue this. I actually kind of like it. As always guys, this is Haikusen X, and I'll catch you on the next one.